The channel in Cribble Biology. Presence. How to draw a model of the digestive system. Drawing a model of the digestive system will help you to better understand its functions. It is a great way to visualize what happens during digestion. There are many organs involved in digesting food, but don't let this intimidate you. Whether you are doing this for a school project or making a study guide, you can take it step by step to make a great model. By outlining each organ, coloring them in, and labeling your model, you will begin to truly understand what is happening when you eat your favorite meal. Read the video slash article below for even more tips. Thank you for taking part 1 Drawing the Model. 1. Start by drawing an outline of a person. You only need to draw the head and torso. Make sure you are using a pencil rather than a pen so that you can erase if necessary. This outline should take up most of the space on your paper. Draw the head in proportion to the body as it would be on a human. It doesn't have to be a very involved or elaborate outline, a simple circle for the head and somewhat rectangular torso will do. This is just to provide a frame of reference for your digestive model. Draw the head as a profile rather than straight on to make it easier to show the digestive organs in the head. If you wish, feel free to be creative and embellish this outline a bit. You can draw eyes and a nose and ears and hair. You could even give your person a name if you feel like it. Just don't draw over the torso or you will obscure your model. To add the mouth, teeth, and tongue. You can draw the mouth open as a sideways V and add a small curve on the bottom for a tongue and some small squares for teeth on the top. Your first step of digestion is now complete. Digestion begins in the mouth with ingestion. Salivary glands release saliva containing digestive enzymes to begin breaking down food while you chew. The tongue helps the food to move back in your throat creating a bolus while the teeth break it down in a process known as mastication. Three, draw the esophagus. At the end of the mouth, draw a small tube that extends straight down into the center of your model's torso. It should be fairly narrow, about one-fifth the width of your model's neck. The food moves from the mouth into the esophagus, which carries it down into the stomach. The esophagus is made of smooth muscle that relaxes and contracts to move your food down with a wave-like motion, called peristalsis. If you wish to make your model more advanced, you can include the pharynx. The pharynx is located behind the mouth and moves food into the esophagus. You can feel it when you swallow. In your model, you can simply draw a small diagonal line towards the top of your esophagus and the part above the line can be the pharynx and the part below can be the esophagus. If you wish to make your model more advanced, you can also include the epiglottis. The epiglottis is a small flap just below the pharynx that directs food into the esophagus. If you drew a pharynx, the diagonal line can be the epiglottis. For include the stomach. At the bottom of your esophagus, draw a small balloon-like organ that is the stomach. It should take up about a third of the width of the torso and be slightly towards the right. Include a small tube going up into the esophagus and a diagonal line between the esophagus and stomach to indicate the muscular valve called the lower esophageal sphincter. Add a small tube going straight down on the left side of the stomach, which will lead to the small intestine. The stomach helps churn and digest food using gastric juices containing hydrochloric acid and pepsin to help break it down. The food remains in the stomach for about 3 to 4 hours. At this point it is no longer food, but has an oatmeal-like consistency and is called chyme. 5. Add the liver. Draw it towards the left of the stomach and slightly above it. It should be about twice the size of the stomach and look a bit like an elongated triangle with rounded edges. The liver produces bile to help break down fats. While the food doesn't enter the liver, it processes the nutrients that are absorbed from the small intestine. 6. Draw the gallbladder. Attached to the liver, draw a small nodule called the gallbladder. Draw the gallbladder as a small oval towards the bottom of the liver. 
it should overlap the liver. To show that the gallbladder goes over the liver, draw the gallbladder with a thick line. The gallbladder stores the bile produced in the liver. It then mixes the bile with the food that passes by, breaking down fats. Gostou amigão deixa seu gostei e ativa o sininho preto para não perder nenhum vídeo do canal até o outro vídeo valeu.